guys, Oscar here with a new video, and this is going to be discussing the Washington football team uh, signing tight end uh, Ricky Seals Jones. I know that I am one day late um, reporting this, but I have been busy the last couple of days um, trying to get some stuff done uh, work wise. But um, before getting into this video, though, I'd like to remind you all that if you're new to my channel, you like what you hear, you like what you see, you like Washington football team content, NFL content, this is a channel for you. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you give me a subscribe, give me a like, share the video with your friends and family, comment, because I'd like to know your thoughts. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, so I honestly um, like this move. Um, it'll help out in the tight end room. Now, now Washington has... You know, good competition in the tight end group. You know, I think we have a t total of four tight ends on the roster. We have Logan Thomas, who's a lock. He's going to be um, number one. Um, Rick Seals Jones, Samus Reyes, and we have, who's the fourth guy? Um, John Bates, um, the rookie that, um, you know, Ron Rivera uh, selected. So here's the thing, though. Um, both guys, um, or all guys, all guys are Ron, you know, Ron Rivera brought in. So the question is, who does Ron Rivera love, you know, the least out of these four guys to make the roster? Um, I'm gonna break down, you know, Logan. Th I should say three guys because Logan Thomas, unless something very drastic happens where he really sucks his second year, um. He's going to be the, you know, the number one guy. He's going to be the number one tight end. So, in all honesty, Logan Thomas, I'm not going to be discussing Logan Thomas in this video. I'm going to be discussing more Samus Reyes, Ricky Seals, um, Seals Jones, and um, John Bates. So, um, a little bit about uh, um, Seals Jones. Uh, he's been bounced around um, in the league his first five years in, in the NFL. Um, his most recent stint was with the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Um, he is known. He has eight touchdowns with 800 and I think what was it, 870 something yards um, in his career. But most of the touchdowns that he is, you know, he has had, he's going to be um, was a red zone, you know, red zone type guy, um, and that's something that Washington will need is someone to get them into the end zone when they're in the red zone. You know, no more field, these field goals. Washington, like I said, has been upgrading their tight end position all around. Um, you know, so we have, we have competition. Washington finally has competition in the tight end group after some long time when Washington just, it was so predictable, you know, you know, it was Jordan Reed, and then, you know, who, who, you know, you know, after that, there was no depth. Washington literally had to, you know, find someone that was a free agent, sign them, you know, get, you know, free agent rookies and all that. That that time, I think, is finally over. You know, Washington addressed the tight end position um, in the draft with John Bates. Um, they, you know, signed Simon Reyes to the International Pathways Program. Um, you know, and then they go ahead and, you know, sign Rick Seals Jones here. Um, like I said, I like that move gives Washington uh, a chance for, for competition. So let's see. Um, obviously Logan Thomas will be the number one tight end. Um, number two, who could be a tight end? I think Rico, Ricky Seals Jones would be number, the, the number two guy. And then it'll be a battle between, it'll be between, um, Samus Reyes and John Bates for that number three spot. I think that John Bates will get that spot just because, um, you know, he, they did draft him. Um, and I think Samus Reyes, um, when you're, you know, when you come into the NFL using the international pathways program, um, you can, you have like a protected, um, you know, he, he's a protected guy on the practice squad. So I think, um, and that's also Samus Reyes, you know, he's trying to transition from being a basketball, basketball player to a football player. Um, so, you know, he, he probably needs more development. So that's why I think John Bates will be the tight end number three over Samus Reyes, but we'll have to wait and see. 
like I said, we're we're in OTAs now. Um, you know, we have preseason, um, we have a training camp. So between all that, all that stuff, um, we'll have to wait and see who who impresses the most, who impresses Ron Rivera the most, and who Ron Rivera likes the least, and we'll get that third tight end spot. So, um, Rick Seals Jones, welcome to DC. Like I said. Like the move, I think he'll be um, a good compliment to Logan Thomas. Um, you know, I think he'll be the tight end number two. And if, you know, somehow John Bates impresses so much, maybe the tight end number three. But that's as far as I, he drops. I don't think that this guy is going to be in OTAs or a training camp or a preseason body. I think he's going to make the roster, especially with the way that last year's tight end group did not pan out as much. You know, um, Logan Thomas, you know, as a tight end, got all the catches as a tight end. Um, Jeremy Sprinkle, you know, drop passes. That's something also that, you know, Washington gets is they're getting tight ends to block. So maybe if, you know, John Bates maybe won't be used as a tight end to catch, as a maybe a tight end to block, um, you know. So, um, I think that Rich Seals Jones and Logan Thomas will be the blocking, will be the receiving tight ends, and then John Bates will be the blocking tight end. Um, and unfortunately, like I said last year, really, um, Washington didn't have many blocking tight ends. Um, Jeremy Sprinkle played okay with blocks, not receiving, but with blocks. But it is, you know, I'm glad that he is gone. So. Upgrade at the tight end position, guys. I'm excited. So, already guys, that'll do it for this Washington uh, football team video. Um, like I said at the beginning, if you like and want to follow our Washington football team content, give me a subscribe. Share the video with friends and family. Comics, like to know your thoughts. Until then, guys, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.